Hey there, this is Seth Schaefer from Team Just Cause Robotics. I've been really, really busy this week with various different things, so this is going to be a bit of a low effort video that I've just put together of a bunch of clips of some saw testing I've been doing with Shrapnel Mine now. Uh, the only changes from the last time I was doing saw cutting tests with Shrapnel Mine are that I am now using a 3 inch diameter diamond grit saw blade that's a bit thinner than the AR500 saws I'd been using before. This is an off the shelf saw, not something I made. Um, I also extended the arms that hold the saw motor to make them longer so that I could fit such a large diameter blade. And I have switched to a new 3D printed carbon fiber nylon arbor that kind of just friction clamps the saw blade against the motor. See a bit of smoke there from something or other, probably the weapon speed controller, but didn't really notice that while I was testing and it didn't affect it later for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, basically, I was trying to see if I could cut through aluminum any better with a thinner blade that doesn't have teeth and instead uses kind of an abrasive diamond grit. But really, this diamond grit is meant to be cutting through ceramic tile and steel. So it makes some nice pretty steel sparks, and you can see it cutting through these alloy steel screws on the bottom of the bot quite effectively, actually. Though the aluminum cutting performance remains to be seen. Um, otherwise, the only other change was that I switched from using Tatu branded batteries to... RDQ branded batteries or race day quads batteries and they are otherwise the same ratings the but the tattoo batteries I noticed getting extremely extremely hot and I heard that the race day quads batteries shouldn't um, get as hot with the same current load and shouldn't puff up or explode or anything so that's one of those new batteries you can see there it's a completely different shape than the one I was using before but it's able to supply the same power without getting crazy hot or puffing up or anything. So a lot safer to use. So yeah, here you can see trying to cut through quarter inch aluminum upright that I was attacking before. Um, this time still not very successfully, but I think that mainly aluminum is just building up chips inside of the grits or between the grits on the saw and preventing it from cutting. Whereas something harder like steel tends to wear away. So that seems to behave better. I'm getting very close, but not quite through. I mean, you can see there's literally like a line where it's bent the aluminum up here, but it still didn't quite get through it. Much deeper, even through going through a screw in a couple places. Kind of cut through that one there, this one here, and this one here. Took a chunk out of this one there too. really hard to get through aluminum. It's just specifically like so difficult. And then I also have this guy, which I got a few little ruts in, but nowhere close to getting through a whole quarter inch thick plate, which isn't surprising. Um, but yeah. It does seem like it's capable of doing more if the saw stays in one place, but it's gonna bog down for sure pretty quickly either way. This is what the saw itself looks like. There's not a ton of wear on it, thankfully. I was afraid there might be. It didn't like feel super sharp to begin with, but it's not bad. So you know, there is something a lot harder than aluminum and that is steel. And ball bearings actually use an extremely hard steel, but I have a feeling this diamond grit saw might go through this more easily than the aluminum because of the properties of aluminum that just make it really difficult to saw and mill through. So why not give it a shot? I've got a busted bearing and uh, it's in a plastic fake weapon. So let's see if I can cut it. All right, bearing cutting test. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna find out together. Oh 
Oh yeah, I forgot. I 3D printed that fake weapon in yellow and then spray painted it. you do not see every day. Look at that. Just notching through a hardened steel bearing race. That's kind of insane. Now, unfortunately, it looks like the diamond saw, which is really an abrasive grit and less than a saw, it really doesn't like plastic, which isn't surprising. It's really just trying to friction melt through it, which, I mean, it's just gonna shove it. It's not gonna do a whole lot. So, got all these lines that barely go deep at all, all over the place. But yeah, it, this would not work against a plastic bodied or plastic bottomed opponent. I would definitely switch to a toothed AR500 saw or toothed other saw to get through plastic opponent. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to do much to AR-500, at least not much more than it did to that bearing. But I need to see it, I mean come on. <laughs> this is a 3 16th inch AR-500 mini mulcher blade that I accidentally got the uh, holes cut too small to fit screws through to mount it. it's kind of better than I thought it would be but uh, I'm, I'm not gonna get through this like ever by any means I don't want to wreck my uh, diamond grit blade so I'm not gonna keep trying All right, take two with a, what amounts to a half charge battery if we are lucky in the lot.
Sorry about the low effort nature of this video, I've been spending most of my time this past week actually trying to make a website and also filing to officially form Just Cause Robotics LLC, so I'm turning my little side project into more of an actual official small business and that's been very time consuming, so I apologize for the rushed nature of this, but I hope you enjoyed it, click like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more like this, and as always, thanks for watching and leave a comment if you have any comments or questions.